When growers ask me about how climate affects diseases in the southeast of soybeans, I mainly tell them the wetter it is, the more problems we're going to see. Uh, most of our diseases are caused by fungal pathogens, and most fungal pathogens like it warm and wet. First off, I would tell a grower just to know the history of his field. Plant resistant varieties if he has a history of frog eye leaf spot or stem canker. Uh, number two, I try to avoid planting in a cold, wet seed bed. Uh, have your seed treated with a fungicide to protect against diseases like pythium and some of the other seedling rots. And then finally, I would harvest in a timely fashion. Get those beans out of the field as soon as you can. Don't let them sit because if the wet weather sets in, they're going to have some problems with late season molds and that reduces the quality and the quantity of what they yield. The way that climate influences soybean insect pest varies with the species. Some are more impacted than others and you have to look at each individual species and the time of year that they're an issue and then look at the weather patterns and then you can talk about individual species but the main areas that they influence is that some do better in, in hot dry weather, some do better in cooler wet weather and some are more impacted by diseases in, in cooler wet weather than they certainly are in warm dry weather. With respect to preventing damage more damage than you have to contend with. The seed treatments are very helpful and then not spraying when you don't need to is extremely helpful.